Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's having a great day. We are here on the Fearless Morning Show where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. I'm trying to get a good life for you guys um, so that you can see me and I can see you. I hope everybody is ready for Monday. I think I may be the only person who did not watch the Super Bowl. So, um, I didn't watch halftime. I didn't watch any of it. I was being antisocial, I guess. But I see that the Eagles did win. I know some people are sick. I know going to work today, people are going to be upset about that. So what you guys do this weekend? Thank you to everybody that joined on to the webinar on Saturday. We had a great time. Um, it was really, really interactive and it was really fun. I think that people walked away with some great information. So um, thank you if you joined the webinar on Saturday. We will have other events coming up. So in case you missed it, you can still join it. Um, I want to know what did you guys do over the weekend? Did you press the gas on something? Did you set aside your former limitations? Um, what did you do? Let me grab something to touch that with. What did you guys do to um, go outside of your box this weekend? I know you can see my big hand. I'm sorry. Which is, uh, there she is. I was getting ready to invite her in. And because I had the camera a new way, I looks like I'm looking at you too. That's because my camera is open. Over here to the right. <laughs> so if I look like I'm crazy, it's because I'm used to you being over here. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. I was just telling them um, I feel real antisocial. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I didn't watch halftime. I didn't watch nothing. Did you? So you're not alone. Neither did I because. <laughs> I, I think um, I overdid it this weekend because we had an amazing time with our Love Your Life, Love Your Finances webinar. And then um, as soon as we finished that, you know, having the conversations and, you know, just coming off of a high, then we yep. um, traveled to the Sweetheart Gala um, this weekend. So that was amazing for Meals on Wheels. Um Guys, if you happen to be in the Greenville, South Carolina, uh, near neighboring Charlotte um, area, Meals on Wheels is a great opportunity for supporting your neighborhoods. Um, they actually had their 50th year celebration and fundraiser oh, wow. um, in the Sweetheart Gala. And, and I mean, it was just amazing. It was amazing to see all of the people come out. Everybody was all dressed. I call it in their prom attire because some of us, uh, yeah. We were over the top, just a tad bit, some of us, but that's okay. That's how we do, right? That's how we do. That, you know, every opportunity, maybe it was that first opportunity to get out and dress up. So yeah, they yeah. went all out. Yes, they were. They were. They were all out. They were amazing. And they were also um, very generous in their giving. Um, mm -hmm. This was a huge opportunity for Meals on Wheels to get a lot of the funding to support them throughout the year. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there were there was a silent auction that was, a, I, I was trying to bid on some of those things, but those people kept bidding up, up, up. I was like, okay, guys, y'all going a little bit too far. <laughs> Just a little too far uh, with the bidding. But yeah, it was, a, it was an amazing opportunity. And if you haven't had a chance to give back, I encourage you to do so. I mean, it doesn't have to be Mills on Wheels. It could be some other organization um that you choose just as long as you're doing right as long as we're right. not just simply sitting around talking about it let's be about it so today the quote of the day first of all thank you so much for joining good morning trenda um be a uh i'm sorry <laughs> our quote of the day let me go there first because i have the wrong thing that i'm looking at your the quote today is by eric reams and it is ideas mean nothing execution is everything 
Don't be an idea person, be a creator. And I love yeah. that and it resonated so much with me because part of my, if you look at my Demons Enterprise logo right underneath it, it says create a better you. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yes, this is so amazing. I'm going to have to keep this quote more often because sometimes we get into this thing and you, you <laughs> let me know if you relate, but I'm a person mm -hmm. and I know Jojo is too, because we'll sit there and be like, oh, we have these amazing ideas, right? We have so many amazing ideas, so many amazing opportunities but then sometime further down the road, you, you sit there and you think, wow, I had that idea, but I didn't act on it. Now, someone else yeah. has acted on that, and they're mm -hmm. doing great things inside of that arena or that space. So this morning, I just want to encourage you by saying ideas mean nothing. Execution is everything. So what are you executing yes, on? What are you doing? What are you implementing? this morning um to make sure that you get to your next level whether that's in your life or your finances there are some things that we need to do differently um that yes, we sir. thought about we, we we thought about but we also had another quote if thinking about something doesn't get it done <laughs> right no you sit there and you think about it too long chances are you're not gonna do anything because you remember what jojo always shared with us five four three two one if you don't get on it immediately, your brain talks you out of that thing, right? You're in transition yeah. from ideas to creation. Yes, you and I'm in idea intervention, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, uh, what I'll say to you, if you are if you have some ideas you want to share with us to act on, <laughs> we can definitely do that if you're in that transition. But absolutely, I mean, we, we joke about it. But oftentimes, a lot of us, you know, we, we struggle and we deal in this particular area with our ideas and uh, instead of going on mm -hmm. and executing, going out there and creating and getting to our next. Yes. So for our financial confession and conversations this morning, um, one of the things that we talked about um, that was amazing on the webinar this past Friday um, we delved in a little deeper into all different aspects of finances, and there were some aha moments that came to the forefront um, mm -hmm. by a lot by the participants who were online. And Jojo, my mom was uh, she was so excited uh, about the information that you were sharing. She was like, "You just you need to tell her that." I was like, "Okay, Mama, I will tell." Tell her. Mom, thank you. She, she was so, she was so, um, I mean, she was on fire after our <laughs> webinar because she called me and she's like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I put this thing down and it was the, it was the idea cr uh, creation conversation. She said, I yeah. have all of these ideas, all of these things that I've always said I was going to do that I never acted on. She was like, I'm putting this yeah. stuff into action today. So um, <laughs> that was just from her individual conversation. We had others who were on that said, wow, yeah. this is amazing. I'm definitely going to move to my next in my finances or I'm definitely yeah. going to do that next thing in my life. So, I mean, it was a yes. great opportunity for us. The thing that um, we wanted to share and continue to share with everyone is, guys, that we are – in this, we're doing this because we're setting ourselves up to be leaders, not a savior, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Because if you try to save everybody, everybody doesn't want to be saved, and we get that. Girl. Right? We get mm -hmm. that. And the ultimate thing here, the reason why we do what we do here at the Fearless Morning Show is we try to help. See, we want to help one person out every day, but you can't help mm -hmm. anyone who's not ready, right, to help themselves. So oftentimes right. we, we, we make those connections with each other, um, but we say, yeah, that's great information, right? That's good, that's good, that's good. But then are you acting upon that information? Yes. So one of the things that I shared about investing was the fact that many of us have no idea uh, about those 401ks that we signed up for at work. Mm. Or... Even understanding that we have no idea, did you now take the time 
to go back and educate yourself, to find out about it, to look at that prospectus, to look at those different things that you're invested in, right? To now move to your next level. I guarantee you, if we were to do a survey nine times mm -hmm. out of 10, the response would be no, I didn't. I didn't go back and look at it. I didn't do that next thing, right? I right. have no idea. I'm just trusting my HR department because they told me this was a good thing to do, <laughs> yeah. right? Just trusting them <laughs> and moving forward because somebody told you, guys, it's the same thing that we do. Think about it. Even in your life, even in your Bible study, we sit around. There are so many things that we have been taught, so many things that we quote as far as scripture, and we quote it all wrong. Why? Because we didn't all do it for ourselves. We yeah. didn't study it for ourselves. Or even, guys, one thing that killed me, the story of Rosa Parks, for example, right? Mm -hmm. People always tell the story incorrectly. What do they say? Rosa Parks got on the bus and she sat in the front seat and she didn't want to give her seat up to, to the white person because she said mm -hmm. she was tired. When in actuality, guys, that's not what happened. Mm -hmm. Rosa Parks actually story. sat down in what they call the colored section. She actually sat down in the back of the bus, but there were no more seats in the white section. So what did the driver do? They came back, they moved the sign back one behind her and told her to get up. And she said, no, mm -hmm. I'm tired. But we hear the story all wrong, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hear it all wrong. So th these are the types of things, guys, that I'm saying that we need to make sure that we're studying, we're reading, we're educating ourselves. That's why we're setting, uh, setting ourselves up in this way. JoJo and I are here to lead those people who are ready to move to their next on their own, those people who are ready to save yourselves. We cannot yeah. save everyone. That savior position is taken. Jesus has already done that. That's <laughs> the taken, right? We are here yeah. to lead those who are ready to get to your next level. So if you're ready to go to that next level in your finances, are you ready to go to that next level in your life, right? And you're ready to truly do the work, then absolutely these financial confessions and conversations are for you because it's going to help you to get to your next. It's going to give you the mm. steps that you can now take, that you can now choose. Good morning, Miss Emily. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for the likes as well. Um, so guys, we just need to make sure that we're doing what we need to do to get to our next. And I talk about this all the time. What are the things we need to do to get to our next? First and foremost, you have to prioritize. Yes. Number one is prioritize. What is mm -hmm. that thing that you have to do? What is that thing that you want to work on right now? What is that? And I would say low hanging fruit, pick something, right? Pick something that's going to give you a quick win. And why do I say get a quick win? Because oftentimes if things take too long for us to see any glimpse of a light at the end of the tunnel, yes. we tend to stop, right? We tend to say, oh, mm -hmm. this can't happen. Oh my gosh, this is going to take too long. For example, mm -hmm. my husband... And that student loan conversation that we used to have all the time, right? Ooh, that that six-figure student loan debt. And he would say, that student loan is going to be with me always. I say, yes, it'll be with you always if that's the mindset that you have. See, you have to now transition your mindset to start thinking differently about those things. Because if you continue mm -hmm. to dwell on that negative aspect of it, the fact that you think yep. I owe $100,000, this is always going to be here. That's why I say when you prioritize, guys, get a low-hanging fruit, get something that's going to be a quick win. So don't get something that's so daunting and overwhelming to where you can't even just see your way through it yet. It looks like you just, you just fighting. You just in the dark. Just, yeah, you just fighting and cutting and you just you know, trying to get through, but you just can't. So don't look at that big thing right now. Looking at, look at something that you can tackle, right? Something that's within mm -hmm. the reach, within the realm of you getting to your next. So once you identify that, prioritize and focus in on that one thing, right? So now it moves you to a completely <coughs> different mindset. So get that quick win. Um, that low-hanging fruit is what we call it. Identify that, but you can't identify it, guys. We preach this over and over and over. Know your numbers. Yep. Know your numbers. 
because that's how we continue to get in these holes and dig it even deeper because we're not yet aware. And I imagine if I ask, whether you're watching this live or you're catching the replay later, if I ask you, what is your number? <clears throat> when I ask you, what is your number? You say, Lynn, what do you mean by that? Then what is your net worth? What are your assets and your liabilities? Those three mm -hmm. things are what you need to know. What do you owe? What do you own? And what is it worth? Right? Yep. So in understanding those things, it now helps to put you in a completely different mindset to start moving forward. If you're negative, join the club, right? There are millions and millions of people who have a negative net worth. If you're at zero, you're ahead of over 75% of people because the majority mm -hmm. of people, doesn't matter where they are, whether they're making 25,000, 75,000, six figures and above, the majority of people have a negative net worth, guys. You get that? Yep. They have a negative net worth because they now owe more mm -hmm. than they have coming in. They owe more than they own. So figuring out how to transition between those two, prioritizing will help you to do that. Yep. So knowing and your numbers is key. Say that again, I'm sorry. I want to add Q is <clears throat> to be, like I spent yesterday working on some more of my finances. You got to be organized. Um, and the first thing I did was clean the office because I didn't want to, you know, I've been working on this one desk doing B filler stuff. And my finances was on the other desk. Well, you know how you throw paper, but then there's a shirt. And then the next thing you know, it's your purse, your glasses. your And so it's a junk table. So I think first you have to make sure that your area is clean because a cluttered area is a cluttered mind. I'm a firm believer. I tell my kids that. So once you have a clean area to sit down and focus, and that becomes your finance area or your money area, whatever you want to call it, Think and grow rich, get out of debt, I'm about millionaire, whatever you want to call it, then it becomes, then you're excited about going into that space. And one of the things, I, you know me, I'm a nerd, I'm always reading, watching something, and this lady talked about, <laughs> uh, with your mindset, she was like, always, you know, where you, have, where you want to sit down and do your money, make sure it looks great, it excites you, but then she said, if you're a lady, Make sure that you you have a nice wallet and it's nice and organized because what you'll find is you throw stuff in there. You know, spent money you didn't know you spent. You start pulling out receipts you didn't know you spent. She was like, pay money for a nice wallet. And I went out and, you know, I'm cheap. I thought I was doing good spending $25 for a wallet because anything past I was going to fall out. Got me a nice wallet organized. And I thought I was doing something. I love to open up my wallet because then it wasn't junky. And so when you, I think it's important when they set their priorities for their finances to make sure where you're doing it at is you have a clean slate because you're starting with a clean slate. Absolutely. I love that. And that's great advice as well. Yes. Keeping your finances organized. If your wallet is organized, then it's, chances are it's easier for you to organize your money <clears throat> and other things will follow suit. So, yes, absolutely. Organization <clears throat> as you're prioritizing. See, that's a component mm -hmm. of prioritizing because you're essentially organizing, right? That from the mm -hmm. aspect of finances that I was referencing. But the other thing that's mm -hmm. also more, most important, guys, is consistency. So you mm -hmm. have to stay on it like your life depends on it, and it does, right? Mm -hmm. Your life mm -hmm. depends on you. You getting to your next depends on you. So being consistent in your actions it's very important. Mm -hmm. So how do you maintain and continue to be consistent? One of the things that we highly suggest and recommend to you guys as you're moving forward, good morning to Shana, uh, as you're moving forward, make sure that you, um, if you have two guys, you have uh, the easiest thing in your world is your smartphone, right? Mm -hmm. That calendar is right there available to you. You can set reminders and notifications that re reoccur, right? inside mm -hmm. of that that automatically pops up on your screen That's right. you can do that mm -hmm. easily it helps you with consistency or the other thing is of course telling someone when you yeah. tell somebody else that you're going to do that thing that increases the probability by over 60 percent that you're actually going to do that thing mm -hmm. so we need to ensure guys as we're moving forward how do you get to the next in your finances you absolutely must prioritize so we got to yes. stop 
doing things the way that we've always done because we, mm -hmm. we have, in many cases, we've had simply a blind eye to those things. Just like we talked about earlier with our 401k, we have a blind eye to our 401k. We're just doing it because HR told us to do so. We have a blind eye to our finances, to our uh, debts that we owe. Why? Because we simply, we're just going to pay that bare, that minimum, whatever the minimum is that's due right now, that's what I'm going to pay. So guys, I'm not minimizing anybody's situation, right? And I get it. If this is all you can do right now, I get that, mm -hmm. right? But then also understand that we have to be intentional if we want change. Right. Sometimes yeah. you do get in hard situations and I understand that. But the truth and the beauty of this thing is you don't have to stay in that place. So understanding mm -hmm. that, uh, that guys, and, and we always say this, we go back to this, the mind is the most powerful thing that you have. So getting your mindset correct is the number one thing that you need to work on. And, and it's not going to, you're gonna, not going to say, okay, I have my mind right, so I'm good to go. Because your mind is now once you start down this path then fear starts to creep in again right when you anytime you change and start doing things differently fear starts to creep in again right well am i on the right track with these things in my finances for example case in point friday i looked at the stock market i don't know if y'all looked at the stock market on friday but there was a significant drop in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And I looked in one sector of my finances because I was, I was so busy. I wasn't paying attention on this day, right? And mm -hmm. I looked at one item inside of, my, um, in, inside of my investment and I saw that red and it was a negative 4,000. And I was like, immediately, I was like, my mind immediately went to that place. Oh my gosh, I'm losing. I'm, I'm oh, oh, that hurt, right? But then what I had to recognize really quickly is it's okay because the stock market goes down and it has to go back up. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's happened in history for over the duration of that. This information has been tracked. So don't let fear creep in on you and it will. Mm -hmm. You just need to understand how you need to now respond, right? How do you now yeah. respond when those fearful situations come in. See, I was I just had a true confession and conversation <laughs> with you because that happened on Friday and I was afraid mm -hmm. to even look at my other accounts because if I saw this one drop and I was like, oh no, the Dow Jones <laughs> dropped by this much, the S P dropped over here too. And he, and it was and it was just a vicious cycle. But we have to understand and recognize guys that's when our best opportunities are there. That's when the greatest opportunities for me are there. So now what I have to do is actually go in and look. So where are the buying opportunities? Where are those wonderful businesses that I can now buy into as far as my stocks are concerned? Mm -hmm. Because I can now possibly get those stocks, those businesses on sale. And if I buy yeah. businesses on sale while it's going down, then when it goes back up, that's my opportunity to make more money. See, we miss that often, not just in investing, but in, in general things in our life around our finances. So today, that's the premise. If you don't get anything else, is you can't help anyone who is not ready to help themselves, right? Right. <laughs> right. So this was for all those people who are ready, all of those women who are ready to help themselves and move to your next. Go ahead and prioritize, get yourself organized, and then develop that habit of consistency. I guarantee mm -hmm. you that there will be some changes that you can recognize. Now, the other thing that I wanted to share really quickly before I go, for those of you... Um, you, we talked about the investments and we talked about all of the things, the missing pieces that we don't have around investing because we've never been educated. I wanted to let you know that um, I'm launching a new community. It's called Women Who Invest. And that Women Who Invest community kicks off on March the 8th, which is the International Day of Women. 
So it's going to be a huge celebratory opportunity for us to get together and you can actually join the community there. If you want more information on joining the Women Who Invest community, you can just simply go over to bit.ly slash wwinvest and you'll find out all of the information around this tremendous opportunity. And I will say, guys, it's investment education. Get the education that you need so now you can make the choices that you want as far as managing your money. Because there are so many different things, so many different opportunities that we deal with that we're not 100% aware of. So get the investment education you need so you can make your money, keep your money, and grow your money. Yeah, grow your money. What was that link again? VIT.ly? Slash WWinvest. WW, so women who invest. Gotcha. I just wanted right. to post it for you. Awesome. Thank you for posting that, guys. So if you want more information, go over there. Connect with me if you have any additional questions you want to talk about. Um, but that's it for the financial confession and conversation this morning, guys. Be uh, uh, Set those priorities, get organized, and, of course, be consistent. Yes, be that, and that is the key. And I was before, when, before you came on in, I was just telling everybody, thank you for joining the uh, class on Saturday that we had a great, great, great time. Um, Lynn's presentation, I wrote like, uh, here's my notes. I had pages and pages of notes because <laughs> I, was, I, I was on it. I was paying attention, so it was good information. Um, so just make uh, make sure you're on the lookout for the next one because you don't want to miss it. We had, a, we had a great time. So, all right, guys, for... Uh, feel the start of the day, and Lynn doesn't know. Read your quote again, because it ties right into what I what I have for today. <coughs> okay, I'm losing things over here. Uh, my notes just went away. Uh, <laughs> give me one second. I, I, I there must be a little ghost in my office because Lynn, you just had it in your hand. Girl, this this isn't even it. I, I I'm sorry. Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn said, oh, please. Thank you guys for joining. I just want her to read um read the quote again because it ties in greatly with my with my thought for the day. <laughs> okay, I have it. Ideas mean nothing. Execution is everything. Don't be an idea person, be a creator. That's by Eric Reams. I'm sorry, it fell underneath the desk. So I had <laughs> I had to go and find it. It is Monday morning. It is okay. So, guys, last week we talked about um in your in your feeling start of the day. I talked about be at ease with your strength. Um, I talked about set aside your former limitations, your fear, your anxiety, your negative thoughts. So today I want to talk about not holding back because uh, I talked about don't be calm, pressing the gas. Uh, so sometimes you know how you're driving in, and if you're a first-time driver, you go fast, and the next day you're like, oh, Lord, I'm going too fast. Let me slow down, and you press the brake. Now is not the time to be holding back. So if you press the gas on last week, I need you to continue to press the gas. So um, And that quote tied in because once you have that great idea, uh, a lot of people say, oh, well, it's too much for me to take on. Who am I to do this, or who am I to Who are you not to? And now is not the time to be calm. And now is not the time to hold back. So if you did everything last week, you focused on set aside your formal limitations today on this motivational Monday. I don't want you to hold back on anything. Whatever your great idea is today, I need you to post it today, this morning, so that we can be your cheerleaders. And I said this Bye. on Saturday. I'm everybody's personal cheerleader. So you need to post your great idea that you've been holding on to for a long time. And I know Trenda has a gazillion of them. And I know Tashana, she, uh, she acts on her. She'll have an idea. Next thing you know, she doesn't put it into practice. But whatever your great idea is today, I want you to post it and share it with us today because I don't want you to hold back because this is what happens. Once you have it in your mind and you write it down, your mind automatically makes you go do the action to complete it. It, it. Your mind says, oh, well, we have something to do. And if it's always in the port, like if you always have your sticky notes in front of you, 
and your and your action is always in front of you of what you need to do. Your mind loves to fix a problem. That's what your mind does. It fix problems twenty four seven. That's what it's engineered to do, right? So it's going to figure out. Oh well, we have a problem with our finances, and I'm seeing it every day. Let me fix that because that's what your mind wants to do. So today, I, if your mind is seeing that great idea every day, I want it on a sticky note. I want y'all to take a little picture holding your little sticky note and don't hold back today. See Trenda free food truck. Go Trenda, it's your birthday. <laughs> so Trenda, I, we expect a free food truck coming up. So here's my confession. My, um, my idea that I've always had, and uh, I've done this one time before inside of a church, was to offer a free clothing closet to the homeless. And at our church that I attended, we had an empty house that sat right beside the church, and it was a four-bedroom church. And every we had it sections, so one room was men, one, one room was children, one was women. And so they could come. We would open the doors on Saturday, and you could come in there and get whatever you needed. And me and the girls worked at every Saturday morning. We would help little kids, you know, pick out shoes and coats and outfits. And so that that's my um, that's one thing I've been holding back on. So Trenda, free food truck, and mine is the clothing closet. So we're gonna we're gonna get to we're gonna get to work on that. So today on this motivational Monday, don't let anything hold you back. You got to remember that you're transitioning and transforming into another different life. Yes. You're transitioning to freedom, which is uh, part two of my book. You're transitioning to freedom because life is starting, you're starting to live life past crazy now. So you got a handle on your finances. If you don't have a handle on at least you have stopped the madness of living paycheck to paycheck and you're ready to move on into these next steps. And so today, now's the time to take action on something. Don't hold anything, don't hold back on anything. If you want to help young girls, if you want to teach a sport, uh, if you love to dance, Tashana's a dancer. She loves to dance, so she started a dance group. Whatever you, if it's art, if it's singing, whatever it is you love to do, today I want you to take action on that. And remember, true leaders do not wait for somebody to tell them what to do. They take action. And we are, if our creator uh, created us, that makes us creators. And so we are natural born leaders anyway. My girls volunteered. That's a good idea, Trent. Uh, to Shane, going to call you Trenda. They volunteered dancing with the patients, and I bet that's nice. And this all about putting a smile on somebody else. Because here's the thing: it's also all about service. Because once you know, you've got to teach other people, and then you have to be of service to somebody else. That's what it's all about. I promise you, if you're a service of somebody else, it's going to drastically change your life. Done. Lynn talks all the time about tithing because it's not about you. That's another rule in my house. Sometimes it's just not about you. It's about what you can do for somebody else. So today on Motivational Monday, don't hold back. I want to see what you're going to step out there on. What are you going to do so that we can be your personal uh, cheerleaders? And remember, true leadership does not wait for somebody to give them permission. So, um, guys, that is it for the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations for your everyday life and finances. Lynn, anything else you want to add before we go? I just want to invite everyone to go over, whether you're looking at this live or on the replay, go over to bit.ly slash wwinvest. Um, for those of you who are ready for the investment education, you might not have your money all the way right just yet, but that's okay. You mm -hmm. can learn about investing. And I'm also going to teach you about this, monopoly money that's available that you can go ahead and start practicing investing with somebody else's money with play money until you get yeah. your money together and you can go in and start investing yourself so go over to www i'm sorry no 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 go to bit.ly <laughs> slash ww invest and you can also check me out um at my website demonsenterprise.com we have free resources over there for you as well um, start educating yourself, start reading, putting some of those tips and strategies into practice that fit your life and your situation. Um, everything yeah. doesn't work for everybody, right? But we're ready right. to help those who are ready to help themselves. That's right, because it's all about getting the information and then adapting it or fitting it to match what you need it to be. Because we 
Um, we're not information hoarders. We're information sharers. So we share information. So now that you know, it is your responsibility to share and teach somebody else. So with that, make sure you share this video with somebody who may need it. A little motivation for the day. Uh, who may need to press that gas. Who, who has been sputtering along saying, I think I can. I think I can. Well, it's time to know you can. <laughs> it's time. It is time to do because we're past the part of saying, oh, I think, or maybe I can. No, we're in the doing phase because um, it's, it's time to do. No longer thinking, but doing. So, um, guys, that is it for the Fearless Morning Show. You can find me. I'm gonna. Uh, my website is bafearless.com. You can join the Be Fearless movement there. Uh, I have some great things coming up that I'll tell you about later. And you can find me on all social media. I'm the only Yamitra Jojo out there. So, guys, have a great Monday. We will see you guys tomorrow. And I look forward to hearing what did you not hold back on. Two people have already posted. So I want to hear from some more people. So challenge some of your friends and family today. You know they had those great ideas and they're not doing anything about it. Challenge them to do something about it today. Do a little research. And it may be way more easy than you think it is. So, guys, have a great day. We'll see you bright and early, 7.15 in the morning. Have a good one. Signing off.